Hi everybody, Paul Browning here. I want to talk to you today about a device that I've uh, been using in the field. It was a subset of a larger device that was created by David Roundtree for EVP research. Um, during his research into uh, the EVP phenomenon, what he discovered was that these voices that were electronic in nature were literally uh, EMF signatures. And how he did that was by using an oscilloscope and a combination of a certain type of microphones. And you can get a lot of that information off of David Roundtree's website, which uh, you can find online. I believe it's www.spinvestigations.com. And uh, he has lots of uh, information concerning that device. What I discovered was that, aside from the fact that it was an incredibly expensive device and a little out of the reach of the average investigator, I found that you could use a subset and use it for your research and still show how you can find legitimate EVP uh, phenomena. So what I did is I took the subset that I, that I came up with and I, I dubbed it the RVPR, the Round Tree uh, Voice Phenomena Recorder. It was uh, fairly scaled back. We didn't have the oscilloscope in it, and it had uh, the, the audio side instead of the EMF side. But eh, it's a little more than that. Either way, uh, you can get uh, plans for how to build that online, and I should have a website, Earl, for you to download that PDF so that you can build that standalone device. What I've done since then is I've created a number of uh, mobile versions. Um, the newest version is kind of a creation that I had a little help with from a, a friend of mine by the name of Glenn uh, Cavert. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the parts and pieces to this thing so that you can build one of these and you know test this out in the field. I'll shoot a different video on how to set up the uh, digital audio recorder that you're going to use for this device. But for now, what I want to do is give you the, the parts list and everything that you need to put it all together. Okay, here we have the uh, different various pieces that are going to be uh, put together and assembled to, into this newest version of the mobile RVPR. This, of course, being one of the most important, it's an on-stage stand is what it's called. It's actually a model DS7100, um, in black finish, uh, it's a B model, but anyway, all you have to worry about is that it's a DS7100. And this is a short one, this has only got four inches on it, it doesn't stand up very much, just a desktop. You can get the uh, full size if you want, you know, to get this way up off the ground, especially if you're in dusty environments and such. But this worked for me, and that's why I've got this. Uh, the next piece of equipment that goes on this particular uh, uh, mobile version is the K&M 23500 stereo bar. And that K&M is actually Koenig and Meyer. It's uh, K-O-N-I-G and Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R. And this is made in Germany. This thing, man, this is the real deal here. You can, you know, you can put the dog out for the night with this thing. But anyway, um, again, for those who've, who are unfamiliar with building these types of devices or even know what this is, again, it's a stereo bar. Uh, and there's a reason why they call it stereo, because uh, there's two mic mounts on either side here that you can uh, mount your microphones to. Now, uh, before we get to those, we're going to go ahead and talk about this little thing right here. This is, uh, again, made by the same company that made the mic stand. This is on stage stands, uh, and this is called a video camera adapter. It's a model CM01, and you can kind of see where you've got the big uh, opening there that will sit on top, and the smaller adapter here that will actually go into the back of our digital audio recorder, which is what we're going to be using to record all these wonderful EVPs and, and go ahead, you know, get all that data recorded. Okay. Now, of course, we get this perfect if you, you know, if you fiddle with it enough. Uh, anyway, okay, so now we're going to move on to the microphones. And the, uh, the two that I have here are two fairly cheap uh, dynamic microphones. These are Audio Technica or Technica. I'm not exactly sure of the pronunciation on that. They're ST95 Mark IIs. So you can look them up online. I think they ran about fifteen, twenty dollars. They're they're not expensive at all. And uh, uh, overall, the most expensive piece of hardware for all of this stuff would be our digital audio recorder. Everything else is really, really cheap. 
So um, we'll go ahead and mount these. The thing I want people to know is that uh, with my setup here, these are just a little too high. So what I had to do is come up with a quick and easy slick solution that would enable me to take up the gap space uh, so that my microphones weren't flopping around on here. And I ran down to Lowe's, picked up a couple of little washers here, and took up the difference. So we'll go ahead and attach these real quick. And I kind of face it off a little bit and then hold the base and twist it back to kind of get that really good tight grip. Do that on both of them. They're all both going to face forward. Okay, you can see they're parallel and facing forward. Okay, and this is where we're going to put this digital audio recorder we've got. And this digital audio recorder, by the way, this is the Tascam DR, as in digital recorder, uh, 40, DR40. And what it is, is a, it's actually got a couple of XLR ports right here that match the back of our microphones. So we'll be using XLR cabling to connect to that. It is a four channel digital audio recorder. Uses standard SD cards, full size. It's wonderful. So, you know, with that, you have no limit. It's got a USB connector on the side. If you want to just pull those files right out, it's great. Uh, or you can pull the card and use it. Uh, and, but the really, really wonderful thing about this is it has a built in mixer. So, what you can do is. Uh, uh, set each one of these microphones into their own tracks, which is what you're wanting to do anyway, and record everything so that you've got four tracks of audio with nothing bleeding over. You won't record this and this in one track. They'll be in their own tracks. And the two condenser microphones that are mounted on the digital audio recorder will record in their own individual tracks. Okay, so we're going to have data running in four tracks on this device. We'll go ahead and mount this on here real quick. We're going to push it all the way forward. As we're mounting it, if we can mount it, there we go. All right. Okay. Now, um, the only thing we're really left are these two XLR cables, and these these two are only, uh, I believe, a foot long. I got them as short as I could get them because I wanted to make sure they just ran straight to the device, so I didn't have a bunch of slack hanging all over the place. Okay. And then, uh, again, when you look on the back, you'll see the. Uh, the three pin XLR connectors here and you can see you know it kind of makes sense how to hook this up it's kind of dummy proof really okay so we'll go ahead and get that connected all right and get that there there we go now the only thing left to do really is Make minor adjustments so that your digital audio recorder more or less is in line with your uh, with your microphones. You can see that you know whether they're tilted, you know they're kind of tilted up or down. You know you don't want that, that seesaw thing going on there. You want to make sure that all this stuff is fairly level when you look at it on the side view. It looks looks pretty good, I think. We can, that's usable. And there you go, folks. You now have one RVPR, one step away from being able to use in the field right now. Got to remember these on-off switches. Okay. Other than that, it's just a matter of uh, knowing how to set up that digital audio recorder, get it configured, you're ready to roll. Sweet. Now, let's see more people out there uh, playing around with these devices. Just a, a side note, uh, the microphones again about $20 a piece. The bass, I think maybe $15-$20. Uh, the bar, again, maybe $15, $20. And most of this stuff averages about $15, $20. The only thing that's going to be a little costly, that big boy right there. I think that cost me $150, but the prices, they fluctuate. Sometimes they can get a little lower, sometimes they go a little higher, but that's the heart of the system, and you're going to need that. I'm sure there's probably some other makes and models of some digital audio recorders you can use, but for the sake of simplicity, knowing that this has everything you need, I just stick with that and uh, go from there. Okay? I will shoot another video soon on exactly how to configure that digital audio recorder so that you can use it with this setup and get out there and start going after those all-elusive EVPs. See ya.